are tallying up their sheets and we'll bring them in momentarily so we can officially begin the process. I would like to announce that registration is officially closed and I will provide you shortly the number of individuals that have received ballots as well as the number of individuals that have received provisional ballots if be. As you know by the rules of the Massachusetts Republican State Committee, uh, those individuals that are allowed to vote for delegate and alternate are those individuals that are a registered Republican based by the list provided by the Secretary of the Commonwealth's Election Division as of February 15, 2012. Should you not be on that list, ladies and gentlemen, and if you came in today, you are not under the rules allowed to be a delegate or an alternate. However, you can cast a provisional ballot for delegate or alternate. Those provisional ballots will be kept to the side and should the number be such that it could affect the outcome of the election of delegates or alternates, that those ballots will then be reviewed at the state party headquarters within three business days to determine through the local city and town clerk and the Secretary of State's office, elections division, to determine whether or not those individual or individuals should have been allowed to cast a ballot. But again, I want to be clear. If you are today here to be a candidate for a delegate or an alternate, you had to be on the list that was provided by the Secretary of the Commonwealth to us that is at the front desk where you checked in today. So if you would issue a provisional ballot, you cannot be a delegate or an alternate delegate. <coughs> so ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's Congressional District Caucus will choose three county delegates. After that process is complete, we will select three alternate Romney delegates. Listen to this point very clearly. I've been to national conventions. This is very important. I want to make sure it's clear for everybody. All delegates and alternate delegates are responsible for all expenses associated with attending the convention, including any airfare, hotel, ground transportation, mails, and convention delegate registration fees. You will have a lot of fun if you attend as a delegate or an alternate, but you are responsible for your cost. The state party or a candidate for president or others are not going to be paying your way. You are responsible personally. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody may nominate themselves uh, to be a delegate or have somebody nominate them to be a delegate. You need one second. You cannot second yourself if you've nominated yourself. The person that nominated you cannot second you. If there is a second, your name will be officially placed in nomination. A candidate for delegate or alternate does not need to be present here in the room to be eligible for election. But in order to be eligible, they had to have expressed in writing his or her willingness to serve if elected and certified. This is important, ladies and gentlemen. Only those candidates for delegates pledged to a presidential candidate entitled to a delegate from this district may be nominated. When nominations are completed, each candidate for delegate will have up to and no more than three minutes to speak, provide a short summary of why they're running, and answer any questions that may be provided. Again, no more than three minutes. I will have nominees for delegates speak in alphabetical order, although we uh, do have, I believe, a candidate that will likely be nominated for delegate uh, is our National Committee woman elect and former Lieutenant Governor uh, that I will allow to speak first. At Did that point on, I will follow uh, in an alphabetical order. Balloting for delegates shall be